Hello, we found ourselves in front of the Edmonton Zoo. Um, unfortunately, it already lost a good amount of points because there, because there will be no capybara. So on the zoo scale of... It is an absolute zero. But we might find some good other animals, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. It is apparently pretty small, but worth checking out, so that's what she... So it seems like the common uh, trend of the zoo so far is that there is absolutely no animals out. <laughs> um, it is quite... well, it's warm, it's like one degrees. Um, but yeah, we have like past two or three things where animals should be. <gasps> oh my god, you see that? That's an animal. It's a baby doll sheep. It's soft. Is that his ball sack? Is that his ball sack over there? There is no way that that's his ball sack. That would be crazy. He's packing. Could it have tails? No, it's hanging. Like gravity is doing work. So we eventually made our way to the thing we wanted to see most. Well, one of the things we wanted to really see, uh, which was the red panda. And we were expecting, you know, to see something like this or like this. Um, but after a long search, like, we were looking for it in the trees, because they clearly told us, oh, they will be around, they will be in the trees, you know? So we were looking around, but, but we eventually find them like this. So after that perfect loaf of the red panda, uh, we did go and see Lewis Hamilton, which is always a nice thing to see. Unfortunately, uh, right after that, I, I felt kind of violated. There was a um, pe peacock, is that what, they, what they're called? Um, trying to seduce me. He was um, rattling his feathers towards me, trying to impress me. And, and I gotta tell you, I, I was resisting the urge to jump over the fence and, um, you know, throw myself at him. We also found the goat that was um, originally in, in, in Goat Simulator. He, he retired and I guess he retired, retired to Canada. So he's trying to escape, but I guess the bozo doesn't really realize that the fence is open. The trend of animals uh, trying to, you know, hide from us also uh, continued with this guy, who, when we arrived, decided to just make its way inside. Um, but uh, little did he know we had a way to sneak inside as well. He, he wasn't very pleased to see us though, I, I don't know what that look means, but I mean, he's out to kill for sure. <laughs> I also never really realized how much a armadillo looks like a, a shit on legs. It's it's pretty funny. He was pretty fast. Like he was zooming around his little space. That was uh, he was going crazy. They're pretty cute though. I'm not gonna lie. He's so fast. Yeah, he's a fast boy. They are like bugs. They're like hell divers too. We're fighting these things. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Me when I wake up in the morning. Oh my, oh my god, that is huge! What in, what in the world is that? Probably like a, a box. Oh my god, that is a huge thing! That is, a, that is a unicorn over there. So we were able to find some devious little creatures that were up to no good. But in general, I think a lot of them are still like inside. I think they're also expanding, so it's pretty small at this point. Especially coming from like Paradiso that we did back in Belgium, so... Um, yeah, overall, pretty okay, but what, what is your experience? It's, it's fun. I feel like this is where you'd come on a field trip in middle school. Oh it's yeah, actually, yeah. Vibes. It is a middle middle school field trip kind of vibe, that's yeah. true. Yeah, now that we're leaving, the sun is coming out. <laughs> um, we didn't, well, I didn't vlog much, but... Oh, the zoo and... Zoo Teak? Yeah, let's go, if it's open. We're gonna check out the... 
Check out the zoo teak. I feel like it's very So unfortunately our zoo trip, I mean, it was it was pretty good. Uh, there was not much to see and I guess like half of the animals were inside because it was maybe still too cold uh, or something like that. But there are some points that just need to be taken away from um, not having capybaras. They had like capybara plushes in the shop, but there, there, there was no capybaras in the actual zoo, <laughs> which I don't understand why you're selling capybara plushies then. <laughs> but yeah, overall, good experience, sad no capybaras but animals funny.